Yeah, assault rifle bullets. Oh, dude. Yep. Wow, this looks interesting. on securing that bird. But I thought... No time to talk. Way to run past that turret there. 
Uh, there's, there's one of them, you have to get it off and then you can get to the other one. I, I don't know about all of them. Oh hey, there's a crate of instant rockets. But no rocket yeah. on. Yeah, I tried to make it to the launcher, but... Or whatever that thing is. No, was over there. don't die. Nope. I just gotta remember how to do it. No substitutes. Take that man's deadliest foe. That's deadliest foe. That's somehow I oh a tentacle. Come in, HQ. The bird is secured. I'm not even going to ask. Good call. But I need to bring you up to speed on what we've gotten out of the tablets Professor Stein was working on. They seem to indicate that there's a secret chamber inside the Great Pyramid. I want you to head that way. I'll get a chopper out to you. Forget it. There isn't a man alive that can fly a chopper in here and survive. Anyway, I can see it from here, and I always preferred the scenic route. What do you mean? Wait, There's what? aliens all over the place. It's... The Great Pyramid was, like, just right outside that wall? <laughs> it's just like, oh, hey, there it is, right behind the wall. Huh. Okay, it's time for some outdoor levels now. Finally. This is where it's shifting really serious. Yeah. Man, it does feel like the whole first part of the game was a real Modern Warfare piss take. I mean, yo, we gave you a pistol and a shotgun and an assault rifle. And you finally got a rock launcher so you could kill man's deadliest foe. I mean, you know, granted it's man's deadliest foe taken over by mutant squid, but it's still really Modern Warfare-y, right? Pretty much. Okay, we're almost ready. Under the iron cloud. I don't venture too far into the sand, so you get eaten by a giant sandworm. Yeah, I saw that in the early beta test that giant bomb guys did a quick look of. <laughs> 